Hello, friends. I uh, just wanted to give you uh, an update of a, uh, of a different kind uh, today. I wanted you to know that, um, that your elders uh, are working while we're apart. Uh, we're working on uh, our vision for the future of Union Lake Baptist Church. And, uh, and we're talking and praying about uh, raising up uh, more deacons and elders. Uh, and, uh, and, and there's a lot of activity that we're planning on doing in the near future. So I want you to be praying and to be looking forward with excitement to what God is going to do at Union Lake uh, when we uh, return. Here are some of the things that we've had to uh, push off that was scheduled during this time uh, that we are now sheltering at home. So we have uh, we have a child dedication service that we'll, we'll, uh, we'll host here uh, very soon. Um, we need to uh, take some special time and honor our uh, high school graduates. Um, Dan is uh, planning on leading a parent summit on, uh, on the topic of anxiety. Um, <clears throat> there's, a, there's another parenting uh, uh, gathering, a, a forum, on, uh, uh, specifically on, on parenting uh, younger children. So uh, we were, we we're going to do that over at the Parsonage, and so we need to, to reschedule that. Uh, we have, uh, Lord has given us so many uh, young families. We wanted to, uh, we wanted to help, uh, help the parents disciple their little ones. Um, so we've got, uh, we've got other things that we're going to roll out. Uh, we were, we're going to do some evangelism training. You probably remember when Gabe Reed was here at our missions conference. He mentioned uh, the three circles, a tool they use out there in Colorado for their evangelism uh I've already acquired that material, and, and we're going to do some training, some practical hands-on evangelism training so that you feel more comfortable how to um, uh, pivot uh, to uh, conversations about the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, with people in your family, at your workplace, uh, people that you meet uh, in the community, things like that. We also uh, want to uh, continue our prayer meetings on Saturday mornings at 9 o'clock. Uh, I've been really blessed uh, by uh, the number of people uh, that have been joining in with me um, through the Zoom meeting. So uh, those will continue each Saturday at 9 a.m. Uh, a link to that meeting goes out in the Friday email that Dan will send out, so be looking for that. Um, and then, of course, we're going to... Um, uh, what uh, put back in the regular rhythm of our of our church calendar the ministries that we enjoyed up until the point that we had to stop meeting together. So training in the Word will resume. Um, that happens on Thursday nights, um, and that's uh, that's for everybody. Anybody that wants to grow in their ability to study the Word of God, uh, either for personal devotion, uh, so that they might um, share uh, share truth from the Bible with their children. Uh, or, or want to uh, grow in their ability to even teach others. Um, that's, a, that's a ministry that's available to all. It's a sweet time of collaboration as we study through the scriptures together, so that will resume. Of course, uh, Union, Union Lake uh, Student Ministries will uh, be back online uh, with uh, events for the summer and, and uh, schedule for gathering for youth group and things like that. Um, we've got to make some plans for women's Bible study, uh, we've got uh, discipleship and prayer groups that uh, uh, used to meet on a weekly basis. Those will resume. Uh, so if you're interested uh, in, in doing something like that, um, we can help you uh, get in one of those groups or you can form your own. Um, and then uh, the men's ministry um, and women's ministry events, uh, those, those will be recalendared again. So I just want you to be excited friends, about uh, what the Lord is going to do here as he continues to build his church here uh, at Union Lake. I, I trust you're excited. I trust you're maybe um, sensing that we're approaching uh, a time where we might gather together again. Uh, by all means, do everything that you can to stay connected with the church body in this time. So be calling people, whether they're friends of yours here in the church or people you don't know, uh, just uh, call out, introduce yourself, uh, call some of our um, uh, elderly and make sure they're okay and introduce yourself if you don't know them. Um, this should be a time where we're really cementing our relationships and, and forming new ones. So I trust that's a blessing to you. Uh, I so look forward to meeting again with all of you face-to-face -face very soon. God bless you.